Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install NetBeans IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So because NetBeans is a Java based IDE, you need to have Java installed on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's see how we can install Java. So first of all, we are going to check whether Java is already installed on our Windows operating system or not. For this, you can just click on the search icon and then search for CMD and then just open the command prompt and once command prompt opens you can uh, type this command here java space hyphen version okay and then press enter and if this command shows java is not recognized as an internal or external command that means java is most probably not installed on your windows 11 operating system so let's see how we can install it so for that, first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK download. And the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com forward slash Java forward slash technologies forward slash download. So just click on this link. I'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also. So you can directly come to this website. And here you just need to scroll down. At the time of making this video, Java 17 is the latest version which is available for download so when you scroll down you will see the option to uh, download the linux binaries or the mac os binaries or the windows binaries right so we are going to select windows from here and then we are going to select the exe option here so just select the link which is in front of the installer option here so click on this uh, link here so just wait for the download to complete and once this exe file is downloaded i'm going to click on this exe file and let me minimize my browser so first of all you will see this kind of window which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i trust this app so i will click on yes and now i can see the java jdk installer has been started on my windows 11 operating system so here you just need to click on the next button and this will be the default location where Java will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. Just remember this location. So by default, it's installed in C, then program files, then it's going to create a Java directory in program files folder. And then there will be a JDK 17 folder or the name of the folder will be the version of JDK you are installing, right? So if you want to change this path, just uh, click on change and then uh, change the destination. Otherwise, if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next, which is going to start the installation of Java on your Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, you just need to wait for uh, this process to complete. And in few seconds, you can see the Java JDK has been installed on my Windows 11 operating system. So I'm going to close this window. That means Java is installed on my Windows 11 operating system, but still I have to do a few things. First of all, I'm going to just go to the location where Java is installed. So just uh, open your folder explorer and then uh, go to the C directory. And then I'm going to go to the program files where Java folder is created. And then in my case, JDK 17.0.1, uh, is created in your case this folder name version can be different so just go uh, to this folder right now in order to set the environment variable for java what you need to do you can just click on the search icon once again and then just type edit env here which is going to show you this result which says edit environment variable for your account and it's going to open this kind of window you can also open this edit environment variable using control panel. So you can search for uh, control panel and then just view by category here and then click on system and security, then click on system. And then once the system window opens, you can click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables, which is also going to show you the same window, right? So, you can choose any method to open this uh, environment variable window and once this is open you need to click on the path environment variable under system variables and then click on edit 
and here you need to add the path to your JDK folder binaries. So go to the folder where we have installed Java until a JDK folder and then click on uh, bin folder. So we need to go inside the bin folder inside this JDK folder and then copy the path, right? So until bin and then copy this path from here, go to uh, the environment variable window once again and then you can double click here or you can click on new which is go also going to show you this option and then just paste this path until bin and then press enter which is going to add this path to your environment variable. So click on OK. So your Java environment variable is set. Now some application also needs the Java home environment variable on your Windows operating system to uh, run them. So let me show you how you can set the Java home environment variable also. So you can go at the top under user variable uh, section and then click on new here and then the variable name you need to provide here is java underscore home everything is capital just write whatever i have written here everything in capital and the variable value will be the folder which we have opened which is uh, jdk folder so don't go inside the bin folder in this case just copy the path until jdk folder you don't need to go inside the bin folder in this case okay and then just paste this path under variable values okay so you can see there is no bin folder added here only the path until the jdk folder click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok which is going to set the environment variable for java on your windows 11 operating system now once you have installed java and set the environment variables you can use Java on command line. So you can uh, just open the command prompt by typing CMD once again. And then I can type Java space hyphen uh, version here. And it's going to show me the version of Java. So you can see Java version 17.0.1 is installed on my Windows 11 operating system. Now if you want to compile a Java file you can use the java c command so you can just write java c space hyphen version here and then press enter and you can see the java c version is also same so as i said you can use java c to compile a java file on your windows 11 operating system now to install netbeans ide you just need to open your favorite browser and search for netbeans download and the first link which will appear here will be from netbeans.apache.org forward slash download. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also so you can directly come to this website. And from here you will be able to see all the NetBeans uh, releases, right? So you can see at the time of making this video NetBeans 12.5 uh, is the latest version and you also have the lts version lts version stands for long term support version so i generally choose the lts version over the latest version so i'm going to just go under the 12.0 lts and then click on download button which is going to redirect me to this next page so from here you can download the netbeans ide uh, binaries or source and you also have the installer for your Linux or Mac or your Windows operating system. So for Windows operating system, you can choose the first link, which says Windows 64.exe. So I'm going to click on this link, which is going to redirect me to this page. So from here, you can choose any one of these links. I'm going to choose the first link, which is at the top which is going to start the download of this apache netbeans.exe file. So I'm going to wait for the download to complete. So once this apache netbeans exe file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this exe file and let me minimize my browser. And first of all, it's going to show you this kind of warning, which is going to say, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? So I trust uh, netbeans. So I'm going to click on yes here. 
which is going to start the installer. So you can see uh, the NetBeans installer has been started on your Windows 11 operating system. If you want to customize this installation, you can choose this option. Otherwise, you can directly click on the next button. And on this window, you need to read these license terms and conditions. And if you agree with them, check this checkbox and then click on next. So this will be the location where NetBeans will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. And as I mentioned, you need to have Java JDK installed on your Windows 11 operating system in order to install NetBeans IDE. So because I have already installed the Java JDK, so NetBeans is going to recognize the Java JDK folder and it's going to automatically select that for me. If it doesn't recognize your JDK folder, you can browse for the JDK folder from here also. So once you have provided both the folder locations, click on next. And then uh, you can see check for updates option. Just leave everything as default and then click on install, which is going to start the installation of NetBeans IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, I just need to wait for this process to uh, reach to the 100% mark. And once NetBeans is successfully installed, you can see this message installation completed successfully. And then you can click on the finish button. You can also see that this NetBeans shortcut icon is created on my desktop. So I can click on this NetBeans uh, IDE icon, which is going to launch the NetBeans IDE on my Windows 11 operating system. So now I can see that NetBeans IDE has been launched on my Windows 11 operating system. And now I can start using NetBeans IDE. So let's create a Java project. So for that, I can click on uh, file here and then click on new project option. And from here, I can choose any one of these options. So I want to create a very simple Java project. So I am going to select uh, Java with Maven on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I'm going to select Java application and then click on next. And on the next window, you can see this message in order to use this functionality support for Java SE must be activated. So I'm going to check both these check boxes and then I'm going to click on download and activate button. And then because I have chosen download and activate button, this pop up window will uh, appear here. I just need to click on next here accept license terms and conditions and then click on install which is going to start the download of uh, java fx and once that's done click on finish and then netbeans is going to activate java se support on your windows 11 operating system after that i can see the next window where i can uh, provide the project name and then the location where i want to save the project and the other settings so because I just want to create a very simple Java project, I will leave everything as default and then click on finish. So now I can see this project has been created. When I expand this, you can see uh, four uh, folders. First one is source packages, then dependencies, Java dependencies and project files, right? So I'm going to choose the source packages option. And here I can right click and then click on new and then click on Java class and then I can give the name to my Java class for example hello so hello will be the name of my Java class and this will be the package name so I'm going to just click on finish here which is going to create this class on my uh, project so you can see this uh, file has been created now first of all I'm going to create the public static void main method you can uh, just write PSVM here and then press on uh, control space, which is going to show you this IntelliSense. So click on this option, which is going to create the public static void main method for you. And then inside this public static void main, I will just want to print hello world. So I can just write uh, system dot out dot uh, print LN and then press enter. And then inside these uh, brackets I'm going to just write hello world here and once you have written your program you can run your program using this green button which says run project also you can build the project and you also have clean and build project option 
So let me click on the build project first of all, which is going to build my project. And because I have created a Maven project, that's why it's uh, downloading some packages from Maven repository. And once the build is successful, you will see this message, which says build success. And when you see build success message, you can click on a run button and then select your class and then click on select main class. And I can see the hello world message here. So you can see it's uh, just outputting hello world, which we wanted. So our um, Maven project or Java project is working fine. And that's how you know that your NetBeans is also working fine. So this is how you can download and install NetBeans on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.